<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Linsight Two Hundred One. Today's lecture will be the final lecture for Set Six Semantics. We are going to use set theory to do some formal semantics. This stuff will be very useful. Okay, for example, um, if one is, if we want to do machine translation. Um, actually, the meaning is the most important part of machine translation. However, in current uh, applications, we have the Google translation, right? We have uh, Bing translation from the Microsoft company. They do not use this approach. So actually, this approach is not viable um, for our current status. However, it's, a, it's an idea that should be uh, doable in the future. So the idea is that if we have a, a, a sentence from some language, for example, if we have English, we have John's happy, and you are going to convert this expression, this English, English expression to some abstract semantic representation, which is meaning. And then you want to uh, express this meaning using another language. Then you are going to make this meaning as the input and then convert this input to the expression in other language. For example, you have English John is happy and this would be the meaning of John is happy. And then in this process, you are going to figure out a way about how to express the meaning of John is happy in Mandarin Chinese, which would be this one, right? This would be very useful technique for, uh, for translation. Okay. However, I, I don't think this would be achievable in the near future. I don't know. Okay. So here's the idea. So we are going to talk about meanings. So I got a picture from the uh, first family of USA. Okay. And in this picture, we have Michelle Obama, Malia Obama, Barack Obama, and Cesar Obama. Okay. And we are going to talk about the meaning of these names. Okay. So we are going to use the theory code then denotational theory, denotational theory. This is a naive uh, theory on semantics, but it's, it's viable. Okay. We're going to talk about the problem of this, this theory in the end of this lecture as well. So in this theory, meaning is the referent or the extension in the real world. So for example, Michelle Obama, for the expression of Michelle Obama, there is a real referent in the real world, which is this lady, right? And we have Malia, Malia Obama. This expression will refer some entity in the real world, which is this lady again. And we have Barack Obama. We have this gentleman, right? This expression would, express, would denote uh, this expression would denote would denote to some entity in this real world, and this is the entity. Okay, and same for Saint Cesar Obama. Okay, so actually we can define the names, the expression of the names in this manner. And um, so uh, the expression would be in the quotation. Michelle Obama would be the English expression, and I'm going to talk about the the meaning of this expression. And the meaning of this expression is Michelle Obama. Notice that I'm using capital letters so that I have a way to distinguish the uh, expression to the real from the from the real entities. So I'm using uh, capital letters to represent the real entities in the real world. Okay. So the meaning of Malia Obama would be the real entity. Okay. To the lady. Okay. And same for the president. Okay. 
sample sensor. Okay, now we can. So it's like a one to one mapping expression maps to some entity in the real world. Okay, and now we can define the semantics of this expression now the family of Barack Obama. Now we can use the set theory. So the meaning of the family of Barack Obama actually is just a set of all these four, mem four entities. Okay. So the, the meaning of this is the meaning of this expression, the family of Barack Obama would be the set of these four entities, right? So that we can define, by using set theory, we can define another expression, right? Okay. Now actually we can define more things using the same idea. So think about what is the meaning of dog. Okay, we can define that if every, each dog has a name, then it will be a set of all the entities of dogs in this world. So the meaning of dog will be a set containing all the dogs in the world, right? And then we can define person in a similar manner. So I'm using this uh, description notation so this X is a placeholder and X is, is a dog, is a sentence. So it means that every X, the, the, this set of content will, con containing, will contain uh, all the X which makes this sentence to be true, okay? So um, X, X is a person means that all the persons, all the persons in the world, okay? And then we can define some adjectives as well. For example, happy, you can define all the happy, uh, the set containing all the ones that is happy in the world. So actually we can define a lot of stuff already. We can define like uh, students would be all the students in the world. Professors would be all the professors in the world, right? Okay. Now we can talk about the meaning of a sentence. For example, if you want to say Michelle Obama is happy, what is the meaning of this sentence or this expression? Actually, using set theory, we can define the meaning of this sentence. This would be that Michelle Obama would be a member of this set, the set would be all the happy ones, right? And for example, then, then this would be a the meaning of Obama, Michelle Obama is happy. And we can define this as well, Obama, Michelle Obama is not a dog. So we have the set of dog, right? All the dogs in the world. And this sentence, this expression was simply mean that this entity is not inside this set. It's not a member of this set. Okay, so actually the meaning of a sentence can be viewed as the truth condition. Okay, so we have a truth, truth, truth value here. We can think about um, the truth condition is that the condition under which the sentence is true. So we can think about, this will be a truth value, but we can think about under the situation where this will be true, okay? So in this manner, we can define a lot of things already. And actually now we can define more semantics, more sentences as well. For example, if you want to define this sentence, all dogs are mammal. Actually, we have to use set theory again. So 
Um, in this expression, there are two sets, dogs and mammal. And actually, um, all, which is a quantifier, quantifier, okay? The quantifier just, for example, like any or no, all, every, this stuff are quantifiers. So quantifier just define, quantifiers are just quantifiers just define the relationship between two sets. So we have dogs, we have mammal, we have two sets. So OM just means that the set of dog is a subset of the set of mammals, right? So using sets theory, we can define the semantics of this sentence again, okay? And then we can uh, define define relative clauses as well. So we have one here, dogs that thus marry. Think about this sentence again. You you will notice that there are two sets as well. Okay. The 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 most obvious one is this one, dogs. We have the set of dogs, right? And then we have this tricky. A relative clause here that that loves Mary. So actually, this would be another set, which is all the entities that loves the that loves Mary. Okay. So the set of the set containing the entities that love Mary, right? So this is another set. So dogs that thus marry, the meaning of this would be the intersection that between these two sets. Okay, there are some questions in the quiz which is very similar to this one. Okay, so dogs thus marry just the intersect of dog and the entities that thus marry, okay? So actually using set theory and this uh, denotational theory, you can define a lot of stuff. However, this is not the end of story. Actually, we can do more things by combining a set theory with predicate logic. We are going to talk about predicate logic in in detail in this course okay however i just want to show you some flavor of how to use this so we have a sentence john is happy i'm using double square brackets surrounding it to represent the expression okay then we have the semantics of john the expression of john would be john capital letters okay and the happy would be the set containing all the happy ones, right? But here I use another notation, which is called the lambda notation, which convert uh, the set into a truth function. Okay. And then is, the meaning of is would be an identity function, which just take some function as an input and re and return the same function okay it, in other words it has no semantics okay then we can see how do we combine john happy is these three elements together so remember that each one is a single expression and sentence is the products of the combination of all these expressions so first of all we are going to combine is a sem and happy so um the semantics of is is this identity function okay and it takes and it and it takes uh happy as this argument okay so this is the semantics of happy and i put happy here and then this is just the process of the predicate logic which is called lambda lambda reduction 
Okay, this will not be making sense to you, but just bear with me. Okay, and why? Why would replace x lambda x here and replace x here, and we we have the final product, which is lambda y happy y. Now half is happy, and then it's happy will take John as its argument. John is here, and John will replace y. Then we got happy y, which is equivalent to this expression. John is a member of the set of happy. So this is exactly the meaning of John is happy, right? As we mentioned before. So um, in this manner, actually, we can define each lexical items. Right by its semantics, so John would be meaning something, happy would be meaning something, and then for for a sentence we just combine the meanings together and we got a final output. This is nice, right? However, there are some limitations. This is not the end of the story. So. There are something that we can define formally using logic or set, set theory. For example, what is the meaning of hello, right? And also, um, there are some problems as well. For example, the meaning of the president of United States. This is an expression. Okay, the meaning of this expression is not really equivalent to Barack Obama, right? So this will be the entity in the real world, okay. However, this entity will not be really equivalent to this expression. So actually, we cannot define the semantics of this expression properly, right? So for our current approach, we are going to predict uh, this one. The expression of Barack Obama will be equivalent to the expression of the President of the United States, right? However, this is not true. This is not correct. So we do have some limitations for our current theory. And yeah, there are more. Um, this is just a quick introduction to formal semantics or truth conditional semantics. And there are more courses you can you can take if you are interested in semantics. We have uh, I got a list here and um, I think this one will be much more re relevant. Okay. Uh, link three six six four introduction introduction to formal semantics. Um, actually, we just did a little bit of, of this. Okay, uh, this would be formal semantics. Okay, uh, that's it for today's lecture. Thank you, and remember to finish the quiz. Bye-bye, see you next time.